Our next guest wooed Alan Greenspan to Deutsche Bank as a consultant after he left the Fed. Deutsche Bank chief economist Peter Hooper worked with Greenspan also while he was at the Fed. He was a senior staff member at the Fed Board of Governors. And Peter, great to have you with us. Good to be here, buddy. Uh, certainly you know the man very well, a legend to some and to some uh, perhaps a, an evil man, a quote unquote evil man for having started this housing bubble. Uh, where do you stand on that, first of all? Because that seems to be the most controversial. controversial. Should he or should he not take the blame for keeping interest rates low and stoking this housing housing crisis? Well, Betty, I think Alan Greenfan got perhaps a little bit more credit than he deserved during the boom years, and he's probably getting a little more blame than he deserves during the downtimes here. Uh, I think I think he's right that monetary policy was not the root the root cause, but it certainly was a factor that helped to abet the whole crisis, to that got the got the housing bubble really really moving. And you say it, one of the big factors is was, the banks themselves, right? The, uh, the, the lenders there themselves. There were many factors here. He's right that the big inflow of capital from abroad, the, the global saving glut, the very low level of, of long-term rates as short-term rates were coming up was a key factor. Okay, but uh, there, there were many, many causes of this, uh, many factors certainly contributing significantly to the bubble. Uh, he's also said that, uh, you know, before that uh, private regulation or, you know, the, the private markets, the free capital markets would regulate themselves and regulate risk. Clearly, that did not shape out to be that way. Was he also wrong on that front, or what do you think? Uh, he's admitted. I mean, he, he certainly, before Congress, and uh, I think his paper acknowledges that there were, there were shortfalls in our regulatory system. We were overconfident in terms of how much bank, how much capital the banking system had. It looked well capitalized, given the kind of uh, economic uh, trends that had been uh, in place for several decades. Yeah. Uh, this was a, this was, as he said, this was a very unusual crisis and right, something we were once, not once in a lifetime. Yeah, we were not prepared for this. Uh, some of the solutions he's put forth includes raising the bank liquidity requirements to something like 14 percent of assets. That that would help prevent another type of. Lehman catastrophe. Is that something that you think is doable and is correct? Well, I, I think raising bank capital is is a very important part of uh, how to how to respond to this crisis and how to try to prevent the next one or at least reduce the, the, the chances. We have to be better prepared in terms of capitalization of banks. The issue is how quickly to do this and when to do this. Do you want to do this right away in the next year as we're just getting this impaired banking system Probably back not, on right? its With feet. Probably the exiting of the policies right. and, 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 yeah. The time to do this is when the economy is starting to boom again. Okay, so maybe a bit longer than, or yeah. a bit later than sooner. Okay, Peter, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Peter Hooper, Deutsche Bank economist.